It's so, 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 so good. It was stupid. Reading doesn't seem fun anymore. <laughs> what are words? I don't know. my channel my book loving friends my name is christina if you're new here and we are doing a 24-hour readathon today okay i'm so excited about this readathon i am being very quiet um because it is six in the morning on a saturday and i don't want my parents nor my boyfriend to kill me but i have my cup of coffee i have my tbr i'll just go through my tbr really quickly and then i'm going to dive right in so it is currently 6 17 i'm doing a 24-hour readathon today with Jan. I am so excited. I've not done a 24 hour readathon in ages. Like it's been months since I've done a 24 hour readathon. Um, and I love filming readathons. They're really, really fun for me. So I really hope you guys enjoy these. But let's get into my reading plans. So the book I will be starting off with is going to be Heartstopper Volume 5. So I just reread the entire Heartstopper series this week, over the week, and I love this series. I think we all know this is my favorite graphic novel series of all time. The way Nick and Charlie just have a grip on my throat. Um, I just need to know everything about them. I do really want to know more about Charlie. Um, volume 4 made me cry upon reread. It made me cry the first time I read it too. Um, and yeah so i am starting off with this book for multiple reasons um the biggest reason is for the sense of accomplishment <laughs> and the satisfaction of being able to finish a book within the first hour of this readathon um so that's going to be very fun and accomplishing um but i will say out of all the books that i have selected this probably is the book that i can't stop thinking about the most and i just cannot wait to dive more into nick and charlie's story um, and then I have a couple of other books. Um, so I do have This Is How You Lose the Time War um, by Max Gladstone and Amal L. Motar. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I am excited to read this. I don't really know too much about this book. Um, genuinely, the only reason I even picked this book up is because Jan uh, suggested that we buddy read the book. Um, so it's very short, which is why I wanted it for a 24 hour readathon. Um, I don't really know much about it. I think they speak in letters. Um, it's very, very short. So, so yes, I definitely plan on reading this. Um, and then I also have this book. Um, it is called Home. It is written by Whitney Hansen. Um, this is a poetry collection. I haven't read poetry in a year, in like well over a year now. Um, I used to read poetry a lot. Um. I was in like high school um but i've read poetry in a while and i thought since it's one of our readathon and i'm trying to fit in as many books as i can to take advantage of a poetry book so i do plan on reading this and annotating i can't really read poetry without annotating and writing all over it so definitely plan on doing that with this then the other book that's probably the highest on my list which is also going to be my audiobook for the day is King of Greed by Anna Huang. I just read King of Wrath and King of Pride. I gave both of them five stars. I love Anna Huang. Every single Anna Huang book I've read from the Twisted series to now this series is has been five stars. So like she can do no wrong in my eyes. Um, and I'm very very excited for this book. I do believe this book does have a Brazilian main character um, But I do think that she does speak Portuguese. So I am excited to see that I've never read a book with a Brazilian main character um, I don't know if she's Brazilian or Portuguese I want to say she's Brazilian because she did mention in the first book that she named the company after her favorite city in Brazil, so I'm pretty sure she's Brazilian um, but I am excited to see because I've never really seen, um, Portuguese, the language, <laughs> um, Portuguese representation. Um, so that's very exciting. I cannot wait. Um, I am very interested in this story. This is a second chance romance. Uh, the couple is already married. Um, so I will say I'm very, very intrigued. Jan cried at this book, so... I really want to see where she's going, like what, what what made her cry and everything. But yeah, anyway, this is also a gorgeous ass cover. Um, but I do have the audiobook to this, so I will be listening to this audiobook whenever my eyes need a break. Um, and then 
we have some options um these all are like this is my main tbr to be honest this is my main main tbr um and then we have options so i am currently in the middle of love redesigned i would love to finish this book i'm literally like at almost the halfway mark so if i can like just knock this book out that'd be great i am annotating the book um so that's why it's taking me a while to read but i am really enjoying this book so i really do want to continue reading it um and then if i the last option i have is the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic i've been reading this book for quite some time but it is a very emotional hitting book for me so i don't really know if i'm going to be reading it today but um it is an option it is out there um but what i'm going to do now is hop on with jan and i'm gonna start heartstopper drink my coffee and just read all day it's the plan we're gonna read all day i don't plan on leaving my house um but we probably will leave the house later so i can get some snacks and like load up you know because i just used the last bit of coffee creamer i had so i need some coffee creamer i need some snacks and we need it all okay but let's get into it y'all happy 24 hour readathon let's let's read okay um all right then i will see y'all later I think I'm crooked, but we're gonna ignore that. Um, I finished it. I'm definitely gonna give it five stars. I definitely loved this volume. It was, it was fun. It was very fun. They talk about, they talk about things that you don't really, it's so hard to put into words, but their communication is really, really good in this book. Um, especially since they are exploring more things in this volume. Um, but I did love this volume. I will say, I think the next season of Our Supper is going to be really, heart wrenchings i think the next season of heart supper is going to be mostly based on volume four um so that'll be interesting to see um but i really love this volume i cannot believe that nick and charlie's story is going to end in volume six like i never want their story to end ever um i just don't i know volume six will be the last one because it literally says that heart supper will conclude in volume six so I wonder what Alice will do. I don't know if, I don't know what they're gonna do to their story. I'm very nervous about their story. I want their story to ha have a happy ending. Um, but let's see what happens. Now, I don't know what I wanna read next. I will say that. I think I might start King of Greed. I think that's where I'm leaning toward too. I'm in between King of Greed. No, I think I'll stick to King of Greed. I think that's what I'm gonna start. Okay, one book down in the first hour of the readathon. I think that's an accomplishment. I'm proud of myself for it. <laughs> okay, hello. I am checking in. It is currently 10:22, and I just got breakfast delivered i just got a bagel and i got some coffee which i cannot wait but i am reading this now this was supposed to be my audiobook but i've been physically reading it and i'm loving this book loving this book this book is so good i will say i do love um seeing the portuguese that's in this book it's actually really fun to read because i've never read anything that actually like speaks about either portuguese people or brazilian people um but like just to see like the portuguese language it's just really it's like a it's just really nice um but other than that i love 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 alessandra i love dominic and i love how dominic is finally starting to put the pieces together that you know what i did this i have to fix it and that's like the part that i'm really loving at the moment so i cannot wait cannot wait to keep reading this book so i'm going to eat and i'm going to continue reading i've been reading it on my kindle um and i'm currently on patreon sprints with jan um, my laptop's currently on the floor because it has to charge um and i don't feel like reading on the floor so it's currently just on the floor and i am going to eat my bagel drink my coffee enjoy this book and then probably later i might leave the house i didn't want to leave the house but i think i might leave the house to go get some snacks and stuff um a little bit later on and probably do like a boba run i might go and get some boba later also so all right i'm hungry so i'm gonna eat and i'll see y'all later hello how are you i am so fucking cozy right now it's not even funny um but i am still reading this book i am currently on page 126 i am flying through this book right now um it's 12 o'clock currently and 
I'm loving this book. I have no idea what the heck is in this book that is so addicting. But this was supposed to be my audiobook, and I've, I haven't even freaking bought the audiobook because I can't put this bitch down physically. And I just want to keep reading her physically. I don't want the audiobook to ruin it for me. But this is actually going to be my favorite one so far. And it's not just because there's just something about this relationship that reminds me a lot of some things that happened in my genuine relationship that just so weird because they've been married for 10 years and I've been with Juan for 10 years. But there are things that are happening in this book that are very similar to things that Juan and I experienced a couple years ago in our relationship. So I think I am relating to it a lot more than the other two. I loved the first one. The second one I related a lot to Isabella, but this one I'm relating a lot to the relationship in itself. And I am just loving it. I'm also loving the Portuguese. There is actually a good chunk of Portuguese in here and they're currently in Brazil, um, which is really nice. Well, she's in Brazil. Um, so I think that's also adding a lot more excitement because like reading these Portuguese words is just so much fun for me. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. So I'm going to keep reading this. I don't have any other thoughts at the moment. I'm still on with Patreon sports. I think we're on our last one. Um, and then I'm probably gonna log off a little bit and then I'm just gonna keep reading. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop reading. But I do want an audiobook and I do have the audiobook to Diary. So I might reread Diary of Blood. I do think I have it upstairs. So I might go ahead and just pick that out. But I do have the audiobook. Um, and then, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I just, I just wanna read this book. I really wanted to give y'all an update though. So I will see you guys later. Okay, here's something I'm going to say that I love is the amount of times we see the characters from the Twisted series. Like in the first two books, you really only saw like Christian, but I'm sorry, Josh and Jules were just mentioned. Alex has been mentioned. I think Alex was in the last one. Josh and Jules? Ah! That's when Twisted Hate, if you guys didn't read that book. You guys should, if you haven't read the Twisted series, read it. It's an amazing series, okay? Um, so I wanted to check in. It is currently 2.30 um, and I am making progress in this book. I am flying through this book today. I am currently on page 221 and I am loving this book. I'm loving the relationship. I love the dynamic between the two of them. I will say like you have Alessandro who is trying to cope with her feelings, the hurt, but also the fact that she knows this is the good th like, thing for her to do even though it's hurting her so badly. Um, and then you have Dominic who is actually like taking responsibility and acknowledging the fact that he knows that it's his fault the relationship didn't work out and the marriage did not work out. And it's, oh, it's so good. It's so fucking good. I'm loving every fucking second of it. Um, but, uh, I'm on the floor because my laptop's dying. But I ordered some fucking seafood, okay? So I ordered some lunch. Um, and I ordered a seafood boil, which I have not had in months months I've been craving a fucking seafood boil so I am so excited for this food it's not funny um so I did order it it should be here in like half an hour so I'm gonna just read until the seafood gets here and I definitely plan on finishing this before five it's currently 2 30 I'll definitely finish this before five um so as long as I can finish this before five I think I have what like another 100 or so pages uh, 326 yeah literally I have 100 pages left so I'll definitely finish this before 5 o'clock. Okay, all right, that's it. I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye. Okay, the seafood's here. Oh, it looks so good. Self-care Saturday. That's what today is, okay? Today is a self-care Saturday, and I'm living. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube right now. Um, And enjoy my food. That's what I'm gonna do. Hello. I have showered. I have cleansed, I have cleaned, I have washed, <laughs> and I finished the book. And it was so good. So it's currently, it's literally five o'clock on the dot. I finished this book around 4.30, um, and I gave it five out of five stars. This is probably my favorite Anna Wong book that I've ever read. It was absolute perfection. Like, I didn't want anything, I would not take anything out of this book, I would not add anything into this book. This book was pure perfection. Okay, I loved this book more than anything, to be honest. Um, I cannot believe I just physically read this in a matter of a couple of hours. Um, if I think, so I pretty much read this in like one sitting. Um, but I do think that if, like, I wasn't 
on stream or even like chatting with Jen and stuff like that I would have read this obviously a bunch faster but I literally would have read this in one sitting I did not leave my couch I read the whole thing I flew through this book especially for the fact that I physically read this I am kind of impressed I know it doesn't seem like all that much like obviously I've been reading this book since like what nine um but honestly y'all for the fact that I read this whole entire fucking book and like one sitting in one day love that for me so now i think jan and i are gonna have some fun she found a gingerbread christmas novella that is horror and i found ravaged by the gingerbread man which i think is a novella that a couple booktubers have already read because it is actually ridiculous um oh she's back so i have this a fun ass erotic novella she has a horror novella um and i think we're gonna read it at the same time and just be entertained i think that's the plan i think it's just for us to entertain <laughs> ourselves um uh, i do need to export footage because i'm running out of storage on my camera um but i'll do that a little bit later because i do not know where the heck my thing with bubber is i think it's in there to be honest it is i see it i know exactly where it is so i'm probably gonna end up actually exporting some footage after i finish this book and then i think i'm going to go on into love redesigned i think i only have three hours of the audiobook to listen to for this so i think i can like punch this out um hopefully i don't start falling asleep and nodding off um but i'm still good and awake so i'm gonna use the caffeine from this coke as i possibly can and we will go from there so let's let's get back into reading now mm. i'm wearing jan's merch ain't that cute i think it's cute okay <laughs> We've moved on. We have moved on. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're gonna have. I'm gonna have six curves. I keep moving but my fucking back is hurting but I decided to pick love redesign back up I did not end up reading that gingerbread one anyway so I am like making my fucking way through this shit the fucking audiobook is zooming okay it's currently seven so it's been like what I don't know how long it's been since I since I left last updated I think I last updated at five um I was like not even at the 200 page mark when I last time what are words i don't know i was not even at the 200 page mark i was at like 198 um when i picked this back up and i'm currently on page 338 like what the flying fuck um so i'm gonna keep reading this this by the way fucking great it's so good it's so fucking good i don't want to put it down um there is something about julian that is just so possessively hot and i can't get over it and he's like such a teddy bear too like under his demeanor he cares about dahlia so much like so much and their banter i think is like my favorite thing about the entire book because their banter back and forth is just so it's so fun because they've known each other their entire lives so it's just oh, it's so good it's so good i'm really enjoying it i'm really really fucking enjoying it but i'm gonna keep reading um i obviously got some snacks but i don't really feel like eating right now i did though go through this whole fucking bag of salt and vinegar chips already and i ate some hot cheetos but not all of them so i still have some hot cheetos 
I still have some popcorn and I still have the Hershey's dipped pretzels. I also have some Ferrero Rocher's and I also still have my Celsius. I'm not going to drink the energy drink until much later because I'm still up and I'm still good. Um, but of course now my battery is flashing and I don't want to get up and charge it. So I will see y'all probably when I finish this book. It's probably the next time that I'll update you guys. Hello. I don't know how I'm still awake right now. Um, it is currently 1014 and I'm... It's 10.14. Um, I'm starting to lose steam, yo. Okay, but Juan is home. He did bring me some of this. Um, and I still have the energy drinks. So, um, I did go ahead and finish Love Redesign, which is my third book for this readathon, so I am thriving. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I will say I loved, like, the first 75% of this book. But, like, toward the last 100 pages, it was kind of getting just a little too much for me. Preferably, but like the last 50 pages were great. Loved the last 50 pages. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to move on to, I'm in between the poetry book or the gingerbread book. But I think I'm going to do the gingerbread book because it's only 27 pages. So it's like very easy, very simple, very fast to read. Um, and my man is about to sit his ass down and probably watch something knowing him. So, I'm gonna just hang out with him. Jen and I did log off. Um, both our laptops were dying and she went to occupy Joey for a little while. I'm gonna occupy my, my boyfriend for a little while. Um, he was so tired. He's so tired. He's been gone all day though. All day. But he went to the gym and he helped somebody move. So he's very, very tired right now. Oh, talking about Jan. She's video messaging me. Hello? Excuse me, I want to see your reactions to this book. Which one, the gingerbread one? Yes. Okay. Oh well, I'm back off of Jan, so <laughs> the stream was short-lived. Um, but yeah, I'm about to read the gingerbread book, so I'm going to record it on my blog too. So. Is that the first sentence? I haven't read it. Bitch, the first sentence is, while he moved the rolling pin's handle inside her, she reached out to stroke his cock with her fingers. That's the first sentence. That's a big ass wig. His bulbous member? I'm <laughs> Are you laughing at my facial expression? I'm sorry. Oh, no. Gingerbread comes to life and the first thing he does is fuck a donut. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's literally what he's doing. He's having a good time. <laughs> he's fucking a donut. His big doughy manhood. Gingerbread hips thrust up into the donut. She made him too thick for the donut hole. Ew, loins is such a weird fucking word. Of course his cum tastes like cinnamon roll frosting. The creamiest frosting she'd ever tasted. Ew, he ejected another hot load of delicious goo. That's so disgusting. Is it one star? Oh yeah. I'm sorry, but I feel like fucking a gingerbread is just a recipe for fucking vaginal bacterial shit. A literal recipe. Literally. Literally. I got that on video. Literally. This bitch was one fucking star. It was stupid. Okay, hello. Um, I read 45 pages of this, and I didn't have to because it's boring as fuck. Um, so I'm not reading this book at all. Um, and somehow, somehow, Jan convinced me to fucking download The Housemaid, which is a thriller, and it's on KU. So I'm gonna give this a try. It's currently 11 p.m. I'm starting to yawn a lot, so drink this caffeine, start this apparently addictive psychological thriller. And hopefully have a good fucking time. That's the plan. Also, I love my fucking stickers. God damn it, my stickers are fucking cute. Okay. Bye now. Okay. Hello. Um, yeah, I DNF'd it. It's just, 
I don't think it's bad. It's not my genre, but it's also very dark. It's heavy. And like the tone is just heavy. Sorry, that's Jan. The tone is just heavy and I, it's putting me to sleep. It's really putting me to sleep. So I brought some options down. So I brought down Dowry because I have the audiobook. I brought down the final offer because I saw it and I was like, oh, cute. Um, and then I also have Laura Olympus, which I think I'm going to keep as like a backup plan. For like the very last book, just so I can like make my way through it, you know? And then the book I ended up choosing, which Jan also chose, is The Mistletoe Motive. It's flight, it's flight, it's, <laughs> it's light, it's fluffy. Um, and I think this would actually be a little bit better for me right now. I need something light and fluffy to keep me up because I am starting to drown. Okay, I am starting to get tired. So we're gonna open this can up, <clears throat> get some energy, and hopefully try to stay up. A little bit longer. Cheers, bitch. Oh. This is good. Mm. This tastes good. It's the peach, mango, and green tea. <clears throat> never tried this before. I never drink energy drinks. I don't. I'm a coffee girl all day, every day. But that's good. So. I'm gonna start this, drink that, chill with her, and try to read this. I don't really know what my goal is to stay up until. I'm gonna make it at least until midnight. I'll definitely make it the next half an hour, but it's after midnight that's gonna be rough. Um, there's no way in hell I'm making it until 6 a.m. It's not gonna happen. Um, but if I can make it to like one or two, I think I'll be content with that. Also, don't mind the whole alfalfa thing going on. I'm too lazy to fix my hair right now, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start this now, so I'll see y'all later. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I didn't up that book too. Right now, nothing really seems that appealing. Um, but I did download Trickshot on KU. Started it. And it doesn't sound dreadful. So I'm going to read that on my Kindle. Nope. My iPad because my Kindle's dying. Um, and it's short. So hopefully it makes me happy. <laughs> if you guys saw Jan's whole fucking meltdown, it was so funny. She's <laughs> having a whole breakdown. Because she could not find anything that was interesting enough to fucking read. And me and her were just like, bro, nothing sparks joy. <laughs> Reading doesn't seem fun anymore. <laughs> we were just struggling to find something that we actually wanted to read. I'm going to read now. I have no other updates. I haven't read anything. I think I forgot how to read at this point. I switched my book again, by the way. I'm doing this because the KU book trick shot, not for me. I wasn't doing it for me. I got like 25 pages in, but no, not um. This book, on the other hand, I am enjoying it um, to the best of my ability that I can enjoy a book at the moment. I just want to be awake and I can't. And I think I'm just, I think I'm forgetting how to read at this point. <gasps> I don't know what time it is, but it's late. So this might be my last book. I'm going to try to finish this and then I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully I can finish this. I just want to finish this fucking book. I just want to finish one more book. Just one more book. Two AM. I'm delirious. I read words off a page. Laura Olympus was cute, but I wanted it to be over so bad. I'm giving it four stars. It was cute, it was fun. I'll continue it when I don't hate books. Um Yeah, I'm going the fuck to sleep because I feel like I'm in a whole other fucking world right now. I feel like I'm living in a three D movie. Good stuff for bed. I've been up for like 20 hours. Holy hell. Yeah. My brain can't take this anymore. I'm going to bed. Good night. I'm not ending this vlog right now. I'll end it tomorrow when I actually have energy. Hello. Good morning. I am awake and I'm here to close off this vlog. Um, I <laughs> am cozy. I was going to get like dressed up for this outro, but <laughs> not going to happen. Um, so I ended up going to sleep. I don't even know what time it was. It was like maybe 2.30, I think, when I fell asleep. But I managed to read five books yesterday, which I think is great. It was my genuine goal to hit five books yesterday. I got so delirious after like 1 a.m. Um, but 
it was so much fun I loved every single second of it so I'm going to just do a quick wrap up of the books that I read yesterday and we're gonna close up this vlog um, so the first book that I finished yesterday was Heartstopper volume 5 by Alice Oseman I gave this five stars absolutely loved it um, and I am just loving the series I'm so sad it's going to end after the next volume but this is only my all-time favorite graphic novel series like you can't tell me otherwise love this um, the next book I read from front to back is King of Greed. Absolutely loved this. Literally ate this up in one fucking sitting. Um, gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely loved this book. This is one of my favorite Anna Huang books I've ever read. Um, and I just cannot wait to continue reading more. I think King of Sloth is next. That one should be interesting. I think that one follows Sloane. So I think that one's going to be really fun to read. Um, but loving this series. I've given every single Anna Huang book I've ever read in my life five stars so if that doesn't tell you to pick her up i don't know what else does okay the next book i finished was love redesigned i gave this book four stars love this book it was very very fun to read i think the romance was really great i do i did love both julian and i really love dahlia but i will say julian for some reason was just he was hot from like the first fucking page okay i will say that him and dahlia's chemistry from the very beginning was just absolutely amazing um, just because they already had a relationship, but like their banter was just so much fun to read. Um, but I did give this four stars just because the ending got a little bit too much for me. Um, but I will say I didn't love Julian as a character. I think as a character he was chef's kiss. Um, and then I ended up reading that gingerbread book. I don't even know what the fuck it's called anymore. I already took it off my Kindle. Um, but I read that really short gingerbread book that was like 25 pages. Um, gave that bitch one fucking star. It was just ridiculous it was just ridiculous um and then finally i read laura olympus after dnfing like 13 books at like one in the morning um for some reason after reading that gingerbread book nothing was appealing anymore i tried reading a thriller i tried reading a, a christmas romance i was trying to read a poetry book it didn't fucking happen then i tried reading trick shot okay now i did try reading this i've seen this book literally everywhere and i already had it downloaded on my kindle but there is just something that i don't like about it mainly because in the beginning she meets this guy at a airport and she thinks that he is his twin brother who is a professional hockey player He's bringing her home and he has yet to tell her that he is not the professional hockey player. It just wrote me off the wrong way. I didn't like it at all. So I DNF this book also at like 25 pages in. So Laura Olympus took the win. I will say it took me forever to read this because I was not grasping words at the moment. Um, and I definitely skimmed some. But I will say I love the art style in these books. It is absolutely stunning, these art styles. Especially when they're like full pages. I'm gonna get you guys one of my favorite ones that I saw yesterday. Once I find it. But like, look at that. Like, how beautiful is that? Um, I do already own the second copy to this, uh, the second volume in the series. Um, but I just, I don't know what it is. I love the art style. Like, the colors and everything. Everything is just so pretty in here. Um, the story was really cute. Also, I really did enjoy it. And I don't know. It was fun. It was a good fun time. Um, so, I ended up reading five books in the span of, like, 20 hours, 21 hours, I don't know. Like, the first 12 hours yesterday was easy, okay? It was easy. Jen and I were just reading the entire freaking time, 12 hours nonstop. We were great. Um, and then, <laughs> like, once, like, that five-ish, six-ish time came around, I was just kind of like, whoa. Like, once that 12 hour mark hit i was like damn because i read three books in the first 12 hours so i was kind of just like oh well no i didn't did i read 12 books in the first no i didn't i read two books in the first 12 hours then i read love redesigned after my shower and then after love redesigned everything went downhill <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in a video coming soon. Mwah. Bye.